there was a lot of fighting, as you expect, but not, not this many. Maybe you have to blow that tank up? This might be the last guy. Watch this have been the last guy now that we were, were asking about it. God damn it, I think it was too. Yep, yeah. it was. Yeah, there's that health I was looking for. And, uh, oh, and the dynamite you were looking for. Uh, which worked real well. Smash some windows, apparently. Dude, nice. It's Mario and Luigi. It's so different. Oh shit! That was that was some interesting timing. Yeah, just a little bit. I would probably try and grab a knife if I were you. It's probably a really good use for how many people there are. Now, what I didn't like about this game was the durability was terrible on like every melee weapon. Yes. Because you only get like three hits with everything. I don't know. I feel like you should be getting more. Well, they're throwing really have, so like, many weapons at me. Is the thing ten. too. There's just so much just showing up. Yeah, because every single person that has a weapon, they were like, "Hey, you know what? We gotta make that a uh, weapon you can pick up." Oh. Get. Take that train. Welcome, but you're all aboard the Death Express! Bushwhacker! Oh yeah, this guy's really cool. He's got a gun arm. He's kinda like a... He's the Bushwhacker. What's his name from... KOF, the guy who was the Akira guy? Oh, K9999? Yeah, K9999. Cause didn't he do the same thing? Sort of. If you can get the baseball bat, that'll give you a little bit of extra reach. That guy doesn't want to die, though. Dylan's running away. Oh, Dylan got me! What a dick. Well, I did say the reach was pretty good on that. How the fuck is Dylan still alive? Never mind. There's Dylan's brother, Dylan. Go villain, villain, Lillin, Milton. Good thing I recharged my grenades. Whew, this is rough. <laughs> I have feelings too, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, the sounds of all the points I got for murdering your brothers. We'll make it better. That's a lot of knives you picked up. That is a lot of knives. They just kept giving me knives! Kingpin's rat. Oh, look at this guy! The Punisher has yeah, caused me enough straight. damage. Find where he's hiding and bring me his head. I really like what they <coughs> did in Spider-Verse with Someone's here already! I finally found you, Punisher. Now I'll have your head. Okay. So what they did in Spider-Verse, for anyone who hasn't seen it, is uh, they do that with Punisher, I mean, uh, Kingpin, and basically, because he's got the big black suit, it, you basically just kind of see his face and nothing else. It works Guys, I don't really have voice well. delay on. What the fuck is happening tonight? Delay is not on, guys. Refresh the capture card. If you guys are having voice delay, then refresh your streams to make sure. There's there's seriously no delays on right now. The capture card's not the issue. I just did a pause check. It was fine. I don't know why you guys are seeing delay. Let me try something here. I wonder if there's an exploit bug that's causing this to happen. Maybe? Let's try that. 
Uh oh. Hello. You bring me a gift. It's one I've always wanted. Hi, buddy. Come hang out with me. Leave mom alone for a bit. Hi, butt butt. Code orange. Why is it not? There we go. Merp. Hi. Hello. You want pets, don't you? Hang on a second. I gotta go pet the cat. It's a real coat of orange. Did you say this is whatever you want today? Bagel, would you like to punish someone? Yeah, exactly. You know, Bagel kind of works as Nick Fury, especially if you use the cord as his belt that he slaps people with. You want that damn belt. All right, I'm going to try something else here. It's too. a really good spray. Let me reset the audio engine here. That should be reset. I don't know, man. I've refreshed everything I can think of, so if people keep having issues still, I have no idea what's going on. Game audio is fine to me right now, so... It's been fine on my end, or I would have said something. I think it might just be a Twitch issue. It's entirely possible. I can't pick up the mouse. He's not hes not my friend. What are you going to do? Just throw the mouse aggressively at someone and have it gnaw its face off? He might be a secret one-up. You never know. I was opening this door, but now I have to <laughs> blam. I'm trying to shoot this door open, but I can't. I guess I'll just punch it open. I did it. I opened a door. Good, there were people inside of it. Trying to murder me. Thanks for saving us. They needed all the help they could get. We got put in here for murder. Now let's do some more murder. I found two rats. I got friends. I, just, I wanna open the door. I wanna open the door. There's just gonna be more people. You think they're hiding real people down here in the sewer? They might, you don't know. Punish well, is a fucking weird comic series. I miss the days of me reading a lot of comics. I used to do that. That's basically what got me through like middle school and high school. Yeah, like I, I used to buy comics at like the drugstore. And yo, uh, free comic book day. Best day. That wasn't a thing until like I moved up here. But uh, like I used to get like the Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Uh, I used to get a couple Spider-Man comics. Man comics. Surprisingly good. They were they were very interesting to say the least. I, I definitely remember like seeing them often and I would read them and I was like, alright, these are these are kinda neat. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a lot darker like the early at some point. Ones too. So they got put into a trade paperback at some mm -hmm. point. The Archie comics have always been good, though. Like, uh, all the dumb Archie crossovers, like Archie versus Sharknado, Archie, Archie versus, versus Predator is a good one. Archie versus Punisher. Archie versus Jaws. These are all real. People have bought these, and apparently some of them are not terrible. Like, a lot of crazy things happen in comics, like Ash from Evil Dead versus Jason Voorhees. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, there's like, Fre uh, yeah, Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. You can just kind of do whatever in comics. People don't really care. They're like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just have fun. What I'm saying is, 
you should really go out and buy some comic. Spend money today. <laughs> oh yeah, Batman Team and T is great. One of my favorite panels from that is the one where uh, Batman takes uh, Raphael to the alleyway where his oh, parents yeah. died. He's like, this, this, this is where my parents died. died Raphael. <laughs> it's a really good out of context. It's really sad in context. <laughs> Luigi again. I need food, not shurikens! The TMNT Power Rangers crossover? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that was alright too. Gus, calm down, buddy. It'll be okay. Charles Barkley versus Godzilla. I think that one was real. Yes, that is real. There is another pretty boy, the best enemy. Pretty boy, why am I not finding health anywhere? That's okay, you got like 20 shuriken. Oh, this is pretty head. Pretty legs. I just want to waste, I got six grenades, I just don't want to waste them. Don't, don't waste health. them on a pretty boy. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't have much health left, so I don't want to waste them if I die. I lose them all. Why is every other word italicized? They really want to do emphasis, and it's harder to do emphasis when... Uh, if, if it's me talking, I could really emphasize the, the words I'm doing. Like, right there, you probably noticed it but like it you know in text sometimes that's a lot harder to do and they want to make sure that you're paying attention and like oh you know notice these words the this will be important later although really the best thing i love about comic books is just sound effects like blam and such blam kablam kablam Hoo now I'm here! Welcome to the sewer jungle. I love the sewer jungle. This area really has a Cadillac Source Dinosaurs feel to it. And it was all Capcom. My grenades. Just give me some fucking health. Of course. That makes no sense. It's Kingpin Z. Oh, there's health. Nice. Yeah, I think if you break any of the barrels open, they should have food, but they're hard to break open. The fuck if, if move did food, I just do there? Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, you found that move. Yeah, that move's real good. Oh, that costs health, though. Yeah, it's and I think it's one of those. I moves. can't tell if it used a grenade or not. I don't think it did. I think it's just health. Damn it! <laughs> I have to sit up when I get stabbed. Looks like he fell on his butt and it really hurt. <laughs> it Even does. though he just got stabbed, he's like, ah, oh, my butt. Damn it. Is there a jungle jungle below the city in New York? Yeah, absolutely. It's where all the alligators live. And you know, we flush them down the toilet into the into the forest. This is a Capcom game, uh, Shamrock. Obviously, the arcade version is going to be way better. I'll show the arcade version after. You know, arcade play, version's I'll, I'll real good. I'll show footage of it. Just I, so I recommend it, the arcade is, version. Yeah, the arcade version is definitely suggest recommended. Good luck finding it, though. Le legally, the only way you could play this. Oh, hang on. Good, there was money in that barrel. Uh, the only legal re-release of this game, aside from the Genesis version, the arcade version got re-released on that giant fucking Capcom logo controller. The one that everyone was making fun of, like, a couple months ago. 
Oh, yeah, that. The That's plug like one play. of the few legal re releases. I think it actually might be the only legal re release of Punisher and Alien vs. Predator. Because I'm pretty sure Punisher. AVP Arcade is probably still like the best beat em up ever. That's so good. Oh, fuck, I've already lost a life. Let me put it this way, chat. If, if you've never seen AVP Arcade, you could play as the Predators, and they're not the best characters. I know how shocking that sounds, but like. They're, they're actually probably not nearly as interesting as the two human characters. Oh, fuck's sake, these goddamn barrels. Oh, come on! Thank goodness. If you've ever played AVP Arcade, you probably might know from Street Fighter, Ibuki's design was basically just reused from one of the characters that was in AVP Arcade that they made for that. Oh yeah, I guess that would be Major Kurosawa. Yeah. Yes, that's her. I, didn't even think I of think that. they had plans for doing other stuff, but they've they've mentioned that in like an interview before once that they're like, yeah, no, we were we liked the design a lot, so we just reused her. And she's like the best character in that game. Although I'm still more of a fan of just playing as Arnold because they gave Arnold a mech arm, and he's got a great dumb Arnold knockoff voice. Where he's just like, I got it. Yeah, because it wasn't Arnold or it wasn't his character, but it was just. Very clearly, Major Alan Dutch Schaefer. Yeah, very clearly looked like him. Well, his name was Dutch, right, in the movie? Yeah. It could be like, it's probably like his descendant or something. Oh my god. I think it's Please. meant to be the same one. Oh shit! I really does feel like throwing is the only move worth it in this game. Since you can sort of seemingly chain it. No, the health, you fucking game! Oh, God. Target confirmed. Terminate immediately. Yeah, this guy's back. I can't get the health. That fucking sucks. Game fucking really? Why didn't it throw my grenade? Thank you. a really effective robot if he's just gonna do, try and do jump kicks. Who's the thing? Him jumping knocks me down. Straight up. Him just jumping. Oh, just at all? Yes, at all. I can be nowhere near him. I don't remember that. Probably, I don't know if it's you? damaging me when he does that, but... I don't think it does. Uh, I think you just have to jump when he's about to do it. No, it didn't hurt you. Just knock down. Oh boy, here we go, last life. Oof. You know what would have been great? That health that I tried to get and the game walked me away from. Is this the game where Nick Fury's player 2? It sure is. Look at all these guns and barrels and shurikens and knives and Javeri. I think it's supposed to be like. Kingpin, Javeri. your luck's finally run out. But that definitely says Javeri. Last stage, final punishment. I know he's hiding What's somewhere in this hotel. It's, it's an arcade game. That's how they make sure that you keep playing. When the timer runs out, that means you're hogging the machine and that they're gonna kill you and let's put in more quarters. Yep, and it's also in case like someone puts quarters in the machine and then leaves. So people can't just walk up and get a free game. Yeah, they thought of everything. I think this might be one of the last levels. I think I might it, be It did say here, final but... stage, so yes. Willing to bet this is, in fact, the final stage. So what I was thinking of then was there were a lot of different, like, tile sets, but they were the same level. Let's at least try and make it the kingpin. I'm, I have no lives left, and I don't think I have any continues left either, so... 
he thinks that ain't happening. I think the way you beat him is he like falls off the building like if ever you beat him up. It's not a beat him up unless the final boss like falls off the building. Yeah, a sword in it. Ah, oh, dude, my favorite food. Just eat the metal, Punisher. Grit yeah, he's teeth. one of those sword swallowers, you know. Exactly. Oh, you think you can eat those knives? If only. I am surprised you don't seem to earn any lives through score. Like it seems like score literally does nothing in this case. I think it's just an absurdly high amount that you've just not reached. But I've got like three million points! It's not absurdly and high enough. And score doesn't reset. Oh fuck, we're dead. Game over. Well, we made it to the final stage at least. Oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> you gotta show off that build. <laughs> it's not gonna be worth it for how much I've been like, yo, this is the best attack, but. It's great. Let me find, let me find that uh, easy mode thing I was talking about. Because I've definitely never seen the easy thing since there's no way they could put that on like any arcade machine. Oops. I just still really like the idea that he's just like, sorry, man. This is easy mode. You can't. I win again. That's it. Look at him shuffle. Yep. Quite a pitiful attempt to bring down my organization. Why don't you try the normal mode, tough guy? I remember the end. That's what I remember from being Fucking a kid. called you a casual. Yeah. Kingpin just said I'm a casual and then walked away. I just love how slow he comes in, too. Yeah, so the game ends after stage three if you're on easy mode. Look at that walk cycle. Look at that fucking walk cycle. Amazing. All right. Uh, well, you really want me to show off Nick, so I'll show off Nick Fury for a second. Yeah, he's cool. I love games that let you do this, where you can just swap the characters. All right, otherwise it plays the same. It's just that, that belt attack. Look at that. Is that, that is a belt. The fuck is he getting that belt from? Is he literally ripping off one of his other belts? Probably. It's so much better than the leg sweep. Interesting. He threw the moon. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs. Connie T for 18, Wojo 42 for six, Snowy Duck for 13, Super Flame 85 for, thir for 38, Rank Shot for 10, Jim the Barbarian for 36, uh, Thorns of Light for 43, Westerford for 14, Major Mooch for 76, Zylock gives the sub to stream elements, Trapbot 911 for 40, Red Raptor 3 for 4, Monk of Lords for 15, Jellion for 20, Uga McTalk gives the sub to uh, Starkimedes, The Gamer Gabe 4 0 or underscore O for 6, Mega Vector for 40, Navalis the Carries for 25, Super Vector for 75, Board CO2 for 28, Ashen Law for 28, Wolven Tower for 12, Dan Darkheart 417 for 41, alongside. Excuse me. Uh. JC Fowlin for 23, and Slack ZX for 72, and Albino Shamrock for 35. And Translucent Spartan got missed there as well for 31. Thanks for hanging out, seven guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. And we've got one egg, and it's from 
Only a chatter. You will give me a dual wield. Oh god, the type train is back. Thank you, D-Pad, as well, for egging. You will give me an dual wield! Don't hit the camera, man. No! You will give me an dual wield! Don't hit the camera, man. No! <laughs> That's a new reference I don't get. Alright. Uh, we're gonna break. When we come back, I'm gonna pick the next game. Because, uh... I had a couple things in mind. I'm gonna go narrow down which one I want to do. See you guys in a bit. Nope, it's your choice. Uh, 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 uh. This is a present from me to you. As Look Ted at your win, are you guys? What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you oh, people yeah, again. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. <coughs> you get some hype in the chat? Oi. origin story uh, well you see I was bitten by a radioactive Jew do I I, I do Kanata. That's awesome. Planoa for Smash. Uh, I would be down with it. Answer to life, universe, and everything else. Uh, 42. Eight. 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 Good job, Eight. Stanley. Eight. Favorite Mario Party game. Um, if, if you've seen me streaming Mario Party, which I usually do on Thursdays with the custom maps, honestly, I really like 3. Doing the custom maps kind of made me realize that there's a lot of really good things in 3 that just a lot of the other games don't have. And there, there's some stank in 3, don't get me wrong. All the games have their stank, but... There's some really good stuff that exists in 3 that you really don't realize unless you're looking at custom maps and you're like, oh man, this is actually a feature I always took for granted. Ready for Smash? I would be down with it tomorrow. I don't want to spoil the uh, Smash announcement, but uh, someone tipped me off that it would be uh, the main character from Raid Shadow Legend. Oh god, no! <laughs> don't even. Can you imagine if Sakurai just shows up and he's like, Hello, I've got this new mobile new game character. I've been playing. Like, comment, and subscribe to find but out here, more. But first, let me tell you about Raid Shadow <laughs> Legend. Raid Shadow Legend is a great game. Did you hear that apparently Boundary Break might actually be doing an episode on that? Why not at this point, man? He said he was actually going to Boundary Break it if he does, because that exists. This is why we're going to have more DLC for Smash Brothers, because of Raid Shadow Legend. Throw, throw your boy, throw your boy Sakurai a like. Ring that bell. Dude, what if the bell gets in? <laughs> too, Bill. It is a meme because it's it, it they like so heavily push for that in every YouTuber. You gotta advertise it. Like you can't watch any reviewer without seeing Ray Shadow Legend.
Dollar Shave Club. Yo, that's I'd be a, down for Dollar Shave Club. That seems like something too. I could actually sell out to. I'd be like, you know what? Do free razors? Hell yeah. If they work, hey, you know. You know. All right. Uh, let's see here. Everyone, do drop bits for the for the hype train. Thank you for making the hype train happen. You know, there's a hype train egg emote. <coughs> yeah, I think you got to be like level six for it. No, that's the Griffin one. Yeah, some people got Griffin it. Griffin six. All right. Thank you all for the bits. Uh, no donations to read otherwise. I want to show this off before we go to Art Block. Uh, this was the thing I was talking about. This was the comment I was talking about. My kind of inspiration. That's what I like about you, Frank. You could always appreciate it my work. Hey, Mr. Wizard, what's this one do? It's a gun, Frank. A gun that shoots swords. This, this was the, the comic I was talking about. I love it. He's so excited. Fwaka. Fwaka. What a great sound effect. Fwaka, 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 fwaka. fwaka. You know what's even better? Look at look at the knives as they like turn. Cause they're basically like uh, switch blades. Yeah. So they open up in midair. And that was the happiest day of Frank Castle's life. Alright, let's go to Art Block. Starting with this. Oh my god, what's happening here? Not the best of pixel art stuff, but I thought I would try making a stage select of some robot masters I thought of. From left to right, top to bottom, you have with their weapons Wyvern Man, that has Flying Blitz, Arcane Man, Arcane Kinesis, Prism Man, Rainbow Splatter, uh, Lucky Lady, Royal, F or Luck Lady, Royal Flush, Vine like Man, Grapple Vine, Seraph Man, Holy Light, Lightning Man, Lightning Piercer, and Mimic Man, Golden Gatling. Anyhow, thanks for reigniting my liking for Mega Man and all that. Wouldn't have shown this without today and Monday's streams. No worries. Hey, Mega Man's awesome. Yeah, and we'll be wrapping up uh, Wily Wars on Monday as well. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. There might be a double a double stream on Monday, or I might be on someone else's stream. I need to figure out what's going on with that exactly. But uh, I'm joining a dude for a D&D campaign, so we're going to see how that's going to go. Here is Chibi Rosa John crying over her gigantic boobs keeps growing every time that the chat mentions her bust. <laughs> Somehow I doubt she would cry about that to be fair, but thank you, Sheena. Game clearing 2019. Goal is 24 games, six of which that are streamed, and you did at least 13. Last year completed 13 games last year. Not bad, I suppose. Anyways, thank you for all your streams. I've been dealing with really bad depression lately. I need to learn to not compare myself to others since I feel so inferior to other people in every way. Sorry that this isn't art, but I need to find my victories else or somewhere, even if a lot of these games aren't that hard. Yo, like some of these, like hang on's not fun to do. Like hang on's rough. Uh, virtual tennis definitely gets difficult. Yo, so the big got, book zombie yeah. game. You, you see this at like every B dubs. Exactly, big buck. Yeah, no, like, uh, yeah, no. Compare yourself to others, that's something you really, it's kind of a human nature thing, so don't worry too much about the fact that you do that. I do it all the time, too. It is just a, it is just a human thing that is frustrating to deal with. At this point, mild annoyance is all she'd be feeling, pretty much. She's she's resigned herself to her fate. Haruko, well, it's, near the, it's the new year, so I wanted to post my game clearing list. I cleared simultaneously more games than I thought, or that I wanted, uh, but not particularly the ones I wanted to. You can see in the middle of the year, I lost about three months to 14, or FF14. Boy, that game's good. Though if you take anything away from this list, look at VIP for the GBA. The animation in the game is just a treasure. Oh, I need to find that. Also, the same age as release of Fantasy Star 1 on Switch is excellent. Like, seriously, don't sleep on it. I mean, yeah, that, that's the best way to play Fantasy Star 1 at this point. The D&D &D bug hit you too, John. No, I'm still not a fan of D&D, &D, but uh, I wanted to do content with the guy who's running it. So we'll we'll see how it goes. What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, Frank's got his work cut out for him with all these goons Kingman sending his way, but at least he's got his old pal John Hagar to help him out. Wait a minute, is that... Holy shit, is that Tim Taylor? Oh god, oh fuck, we need to get the hell out of... No oh shit, Tim Taylor's here. Ready for some tool time. Alright, this thing... Is frightening. <laughs> well, my job's finished. 
Fun Punisher facts, during the ending of the NES Punisher game, if you hold up and B and select on the controller, you can trigger this nightmare-inducing face. That's in the game? What the fuck? I've never seen this. I believe you, though. That's... Okay, I don't know why LGM, but all right. I'm amazed that's not a Photoshop. The Punisher. Uh, oh my, did he become Constantine? So anyone remember that time when Frank Castle died and came back as an immortal demon slayer with goofy looking holy guns? The Punisher Purgatory miniseries is all about that time and it's nowhere near as stupidly cool as it sounds. It had a really stupid retcon, which is, which is backstory, which was all part of a plan by a demon to open a gate to hell. Also, he had a guardian angel, but said angel was too drunk off his ass to save his family. All for an effort to make the Punisher more family friendly. Comic books are weird. See, that that almost lines up with Constantine. I can see some Constantine in elements. Kind there, of, but, yeah. yeah. Constantine's pretty good. Remember that one time Keanu Reeves was Constantine? Oh my god, I forgot about that movie. What is happening now? Uh, unfortunately, John Hagar had to give his life to save Frank from the tool man, but luckily he ran into another old friend, John Taro! Together, the two of them should make quick work of Jesus fucking smug Pac-Man, we gotta evacuate the city! They're already on a train, though. This is quite the story you got going on here, Zalanok. Pac-Man's doing that. Oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> mercy. Cutman experiences Mega Man's uh, typical brand of mercy. Heads up, there's two more doodles. I couldn't really upload them by the bunch, so voila. That's all right. Don't worry about that. Mm. Couldn't think of a good oil man thing, so here's Copy Mega Man surfing on an oil slick. Or is it? I like it. He's so smug. Look how smug Copy Mega Man is. Time Man says, who needs time powers when your cat wakes you up in the morning? Crazy Cat Lady Time Man is an astounding thing. That is all. Featuring Tango. Aw, Tango. Tango doesn't get enough love. Isn't he only in the Game Boy games? He is. He's, exactly. only, he's only in Mega Man 5. The Game Boy Mega Man 5. I think he's also in, I want to say, 9 or 10 briefly. He, he is. He has a card, or a CD, rather, in Rockman of Forte. John Taro died on the way back to his home planet after battling Pac-Man to a draw, but on the last leg of his journey, Franks found his closest ally, John Shiro. Together, there's no one they can't take down. Oh, fuck me, the easiest boss in the game is here? Sorry, Frank, you're on your own. That fucking snake. As soon as I said, I was like, God fucking damn it, this snake again. I thought we were free. Hang on, there's a fourth one. It's been like two years. Oh, no, this isn't even Zylock, this is someone else. This has got to be the weird game of Mario Party 8 I've ever seen. To be real though, I just started watching your streams last month, but I first found the Runaway Guys uh, when searching for Wheel of Fortune video game gameplay on YouTube four, and a half, four or five years ago. Your videos helped me fall asleep in a good way, only those that don't involve loud noises. So, like, three of them? We have met before at Com Bravo last year. I was the one who made it uh, on my card 1900 when in fact it was card 900 that got Oh my god, that's you, okay. Hopefully next year I make it on properly. Well, good to see you, Cody, thank you. I, I like how, I hope you enjoy the chaos that is these streams, because there's definitely plenty of chaos. And then yeah, there's, oh, this is the belt you were talking about. Damn, he mad. Since Jigger kept mentioning Fury's belt whip attack in the Genesis Punisher game, I thought I'd show off what might have been an homage to it from uh, Garth Ennis's The Punisher Max, wherein Nick Fury dishes it out to someone who really, really deserves it. He's mad, look at that. It's a lot of cursing. <laughs> Rude! One of the frames in the Punisher's Isle animation looked like he's giving whoever's in front of him the middle finger, or at least that's how my brain interpreted it. The rest of it was just me being silly, including the silly sensor bar. Punish Frank is a very rude man, to be fair. Running around just kicking people. Behold, the protector of the far north in the Dragon Ball Z world, Proton John. Do not face him or face his ultimate attack, the explosion. Hey, John, saw these people making you in games. Figured I would try my hand making you in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I think I got pretty close, nice. considering every male's Earthling and Saiyans are ripped, and they only have one curly hairstyle for guys. Yeah, all it needs is glasses, and I don't even think they really do that in Dragon Ball that much. I think they're... Is the glasses accessory? Oh, I know. It looks like he might actually. He is wearing glasses. Yeah. It just was hard to tell when it was zoomed out. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, no, the glasses are really hard to see from far away. Perfect. Thank you, Ryuga. Whoa, we got Splash Woman. Why? What do you mean? I missed the stream this week. Well, too bad. TLDR was at HDQ and had a little bit of a break after that Madman's Marathon, and wow, what a ride. I also got oh, informed yeah. I'm going to be an aunt. Yo, congrats. I'm so happy. Uh, I got two days of rest after I got home, but didn't have internet on Monday and returned yesterday. I also forgot my promise on the Zelda Wanda Gamelon art, so here is my art today. 
Whenever I hear Mega Man, I always think of my favorite Mega Man game and my favorite Robot Master, Splash Woman. So here is Rosa John as Splash Woman from Mega Man 9 that my lovely sister did to me. Her love for Mega Man is infinite, and also my sister says hi. Enjoy yours truly, me and my sister. Also, the Trident is a star with five spikes. Also, Splash Woman doesn't have that big of a bust in hips. It's all because of Rosa John. There you go. I see the hair. I see the glasses. Perfect. And obviously, said assets. Glasses. Yeah, the, the assets are there, too. And the little star on the like, rod, too. Perfect. I have, like, nine more if it didn't have so many mini-bosses. But I, other than I that, liked really nine a lot. Ten was the one that didn't really grab me as much. See, it's funny. I, I think ten is the better game. It might be, but I don't know. <laughs> ah, the Rosa John virus. Oh, God. Is that going Maverick, but just... Wait, how would that even work? There's literally been only one female robot master. The well, Rosa John fair, virus that works game. on one robot master. The same game was supposed to have, uh, what was it, Honey Woman, I think, was the bee that they... Oh, yeah, so someone was talking about, like, they, they thought there was a hornet, and they turned into Hornet Man, yeah. Fucking kill me. I was gonna do Cat John in a spoof of a Terrible Gritty's 90 art in honor of the Punisher, but I can't even do it as a joke. This hurts my soul. Uh, yeah, the, the lack of a spine really helps there. Thanks, Tiger. And we got a couple... Ooh, we got a lot more posts here. Devil John, Rosa John, Pon Pon, John Tay, me looking like I normally do. Maid John, Buffton John, Action John, and Electron Gen. I wanted to start my 2020 fan art with a bang, and your Wily War stream gave me an idea. Luckily, you were playing Mega Man today, so I decided to finish it now. And which John would, <laughs> which John would be weak to which? That is, that is a tough question, actually. A headache to think about, actually. So I'm like, hmm. I don't know, they, they kind of stopped caring about the weakness order eventually, and it was just like, eh, fuck it. Like, some of these make sense, most of them don't. I'm more impressed we actually have, oh no we do, we have, we have, we have five to three. I was gonna say, we actually have a four-four split for once, like, nope, five girls. Let, no, no, that's Maid John, because that would be, that would still be male me, so that is four-four. So there you go. Nice even split on that one. Well, uh... God, I'm actually trying to think of this now. That's the worst part. Buff Tom John would probably be the one that's weak to just Buster because he literally would just keep growing until he just killed himself. He would literally just like outsize himself of the game and then glitch out of existence. So then you get his power. Hmm. Then what would be next? I don't you know. You see, that's the problem. There's also you in the center. Yeah, that's just, that's regular me. That's, that's the, that's the rush, not the rush, the, uh, the rock me. Mega me. This is really cool, Chaos. I really like this a lot. Thank it you is. so much. It's, good art. I like it. it's also nice to see actually like an, an even split of everyone too, which is a nice change. You also kind of did was, that thing that uh, one of the other artists was talking about doing like other styles different. in a way. I, I like how Pon Pon is actually like the more versions of her that have been drawn, the more she's looking different from Rosa John and Jante. Like everyone's been like changing her hair color more. She's obviously got the wings and everything else. So I like that it's actually becoming like uh, differential, like you can tell the difference a lot easier. And I like I like your your electron gen as always chaos, so it's good to see her again. Oh my god, here this looks like Rosie's art. Ooh. First drawing for the brewer, yeehaw! I fucking said a million years ago that I would draw John a reploid design, so this is as close as I can get for now. Rosa John's lower chassis is composed of a large jet engine that lets her hover for a long period of time. Sorry to self-promote, but I have a coffee now, so yay. Oh nice. Nice. Go give Rosie some love on her coffee. Also, you thank you so oh, much. I, God, Rosie, how long ago was it you even mentioned doing that Maverick? That was two years ago? Like, none of the girl version, like, none of the girl me's existed yet at that point. Like, that was... God, what, was we were playing X8? Six. 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 Oh, God, it's when we did six for game clearing? Jesus. It was either five or six, and I remember I was like, oh, God. Oh, God, that would have been quite a while ago then, yeah. What was the one with the turtle? We I never... I, I've beaten X5 before before streams. And it was so six, okay. It was six. Literally fucking 2018. Well, there you go, two years ago. Fuck that game. Thank you, Rosie, regardless. One more game clearing list. From Sly Guy. Everyone's doing it. Goal was 24 games, two a month, and I think I did pretty good. 26 is definitely more than 24. You got Pilot Wings, SNES. That's the one I wanted to do last year. You, Oh my god, you did every playthrough of Three Houses. God. Uh, Mario Maker 2, Baba's You, Katana Zero, Kingdom Hyrule, Kingdom Hearts 3. A lot of good stuff on here. 
Shoutouts to Baba, because that game is not easy to beat from what I've heard. And the last pitcher we got here from Captain Joe. Green Bay Packers. Perfect pitcher for our first event, for our first ever Packers playoff game on Sunday. Ride home sucked, didn't get home till 2 a.m., and I had to endure a shift at work that lasted past midnight and missed the stream. At least I'm finally over my nasty cold now. Hope all is well, dude. Doing all right, Joe. Hope you are as well once your cold's gone. Uh, let's sneak this guy in here as well from Cody. The Amazing Race, short, long story. Written by Cody. I'll, I'll get the message for this one later because we kind of jumped on it. Let's go back to games. So I realized I had two things in mind that I wanted to do after Punisher. And I forgot what the other one was. <laughs> so I just said, fuck it. It's a video game. Let's play some Gradius 3. Yo, I'm down for Gradius. Too bad this isn't a, which one was it? Five was the one that's like, you think you could beat me with that? <laughs> oh, I Loser. love Gradius 5. I can, I would, if it wasn't for the fact that that game is always claimed by Konami, I'd probably be over, I'd be streaming that right now. I might still just bite the bullet and do it anyways. Cause I'm sure Gradius 3 is gonna get claimed by them. Oh, it's going to. Hello future me when you're watching this and you're like, god fucking damn it. Yeah. You did get claimed. Called it a mile away and still did it anyways. Yeah, I'm still impressed the uh, Mega Man 2 section didn't get muted since I mentioned to you. Uh, for some reason, Quick Man got muted one time when I streamed a Mega Man. I was like, well, yes, why? Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just I just got a message from a friend that made me laugh. It's the future me who the Smash character is. It's uh, Vic Viper. You know what? I'd be okay with that. I'd be down with it. They made him like a humanoid in uh, Bomberman R, right? That well, yeah. They made it. They made a robot. There's also like the the waifu version of him too. There's a couple different humanoid versions of him. Yeah, I tried to get Onomedia on Cookie once, but Chat didn't really want it, considering it's just every Konami game as a girl. But it's Gradius. It's a really good game. Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna do type one. I'm gonna do force field for our shield. Maybe one day we'll get Otomedius. It is definitely something chat would like, though. Oh man, there are people who don't know about Otomedius. I think it's a 360 only game, is probably the reason why people don't know about it. Yes, it is. See, I didn't know that was a Konami game at first when I saw it. I was like, oh, Medius. This is like a Gradius knockoff. And I found that it was real. And I was like, oh. I can't remember the last time I played an actual Gradius game. More often than not nowadays, I just play Parodius. I mean, Parodius is pretty good, to be fair. It, it is. For anyone who's never played Parodius, it's the same thing, except they all came out in Japan and they're. What if we retextured everything to basically just be goofy? So it's like, basically, what if we made Gradius as a as a comedy? There's bosses that you'll see, like the boss coming up is probably in Parodius, like a cat battleship or something like that, or like there's like a Vegas show dancer that's like actually like a mech with three legs or something in one of these games. Stuff like that. It's it's real more, good. More or less, yeah. And then you get to play as characters like uh, Kid Dracula, or Goemon, or... Or a Penguin. Pantaro, or an Octopus. Or Vic Viper. Or Lord Twin British. Bee. Good old Twin Bee. I never play as Vic, though, because it's always like, you know, I can play as Vic in any other Gradius. I mean, we've streamed Parodius before. I think we did it for game clearing, like, last year. One of them. So. But also, like, uh, not all of them were limited to Japan. We did get a couple of them over here. Or not, sorry, uh, not here. Europe got a couple of them. Okay. That would explain why.
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, if you beat Gradius 3 in arcade mode, there's text that appears that just says, I'm give up. Your Appletation's technical monkey. Makes sense to me. Did MAGFest have the 3D Gradius this year? I didn't go, so... The what? The 3D Gradius? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't look. I, I was in the arcade one night. I know, and, I and I found Mr. Driller 2, and then I was happy. <coughs> it's not called the Gradius. It's called something else. Like, Sun something, I think? It is part of... But, I think it's part of the Life Force series. It's... Definitely Gradius, though. It, it even says Konami on it. It's still amazing to me that of all characters they would ever put in a Bomberman game, the fucking options here ended up being characters eventually. Why not? I love it. Got it. Am I gonna get greedy and go for the one up? I think I will. Go for the one up. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna actually want a force field. Oh, let me grab that. Welcome to slow down the stage. There's actually a ROM hack of this game that gets rid of all the slowdown, but you gotta be a fucking madman to play that because it <laughs> makes yeah, the I game. I would never want to play this. So <laughs> much <laughs> harder. Why, why would you ever fix that? Like, yeah, it runs better, but also... Dude, have you played the Star Fox speed hack version? That's fucking bonkers. No, I don't want to. I Oh, man, I wish I knew where the ROM was. I would show it on stream. But, like, Star Fox 1 running at, like, 60 FPS is fucking ridiculous. I've seen footage of that, and ugh, it's not something I want to ever touch. Look at how easy it is, though, to navigate this with the slowdown compared to having, like, 30 bubbles on screen at once that are all running really fast, bouncing around. Oh, boy. Come on. So I've tried beating this game multiple times, and uh, I think I, I dedicated like an entire pack. Oh, fuck off already! No, 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 no. Option hunter, go away. Option hunter, go away. Fuck, two of them, and I lost my shield. Ooh, that's rough. Jesus, I'm only on stage two. And you had no room to really do anything there, honestly. I'm gonna try for this. Got it. Now I'm notoriously bad at this. But I might be able to get at least one one up out of it, so we'll break even. Oh man, it's Gemini Man stage. No way. That's my shield. Got the one up, got the one up. Get out of there! Fuck! Ooh. Almost. Couldn't remember where it was. Yeah, that's the thing I remember about this warp kind of being weird. Perseus, what video are you talking about? Yes, that is the one. Uh, here, I'm going to show this. I mean, this definitely looks cool, but it's not something you really would like to play. So, like, it's not super noticeable on Corneria, because that stage is more or less 
ran correctly. But as you can see, it's definitely faster than normal. So if you want a challenging way to fucking play this game, find this hack, the speed hack version yeah, of Star Fox. Uh, you can skip ahead if it has any other levels. It looks like this is just Corneria. It is. Which is a shame because some of the later stages are real crazy. I wonder if there's a link for this in the comments. Maybe in the, in the actual comment. Yeah, but no actual information about what's being played. Alright, let's look at the boss. I can't believe the boss is just Rob with a zapper. Hmm? Thanks, Warrior Work. Imagine if it actually ran at this speed, though. Holy shit. Wing damage. Alright, back to Gradius. <coughs> well. We lost all our power-ups because I got greedy and went for the extra lives. Power-ups are overrated. You don't even. Well, uh, about that. I should have went for the screen clear. See, I, I usually like to go for speed first. I did. I I get speed first. Like you, like if you're playing Gradius and your first upgrade is not speed, you're a madman. Oh yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone beat Gradius without speed. I'm sure it's doable, but that's that's just not fun. Fuck. All right, now we're in trouble. There goes all the extra lives. Can get out of this. There we go. Nice. Much better. Now we just gotta deal with the boss. <coughs> Going full speed is as difficult as having no speed. Yeah! yeah it is. You wanna have like maybe like two speed or something. Two speed is the sweet spot I've always found. I think it's different for each person, but I usually go two. I mostly go for the speed, like, immediately, though, where I'm like, all right, that's that's good. I should probably ask, like, the slow beef what his opinion is. I know some people do, like, three or four speed, and I'm, they're, they're monsters, but... But if they're good at it, if you know how to do it, more power to you. You will dodge as many bullets as possible at that point. Time for nope, not Moai yet. Ah, there's that classic music. Uh, I actually don't know if you shield. There we go. Nice. Love when, love when one of those actually happens at the right time. I think the screen clear is maybe the worst power up in any game because more often than not, when you get a screen clear, it's always when there's like one enemy on the screen, like in Castlevania. Sometimes they happen at just the right time, but there are other times where you're like, I need a power up right now, and you're just gonna give me a screen clear instead. Oh, just... definitely. When it, when it happens like that in the rare occasion, I love it. But God, I, I wish people were better about when the screen clear would